Once again, guys, back to the grower's corner. So, today I would like to talk to you a little bit about something that's kind of a continuation of our video from last week, which was the differences between growing indoor and outdoor, and which one is better. Well, this week I wanted to take a little bit of time in our first video to talk to you about what is light depot. Now, for those of you who don't know, light depot is basically the best of both world both worlds it allows you to have all of the benefits from indoor and outdoor with virtually none of the drawbacks so let's talk about it depot is basically working under the same premises as an indoor you are in a greenhouse you have a controlled environment both air bugs etc but you're outside. So the majority of the light that those plants are using to grow is not coming from a plug. Okay? So you don't get any of the extra costs associated with indoor. Now, Depot works under the same premise in that I am in control of the light schedule, not Mother Nature. So if I want to do three or four harvests in a year, I can do that. And basically what a depot is, is a greenhouse that you pull the shades on. You pull a tarp over, you pull the, you know, depot light uh, covering over, etc., etc., etc. And basically all you're doing is you say when the lights go out and when the lights come on. And so... In the middle of summer, you can be harvesting and flowering a crop while everybody else is just starting to veg out. Depot gives you all of the benefits of indoor that is control, that is multiple runs in one year, that is the ability to maintain several harvests no matter what the season is now there are some drawbacks okay same with you, that you have in outdoor except they're much more minimalized there are bug issues you can have them depending on how closed your greenhouse is how filtered your airflow is etc 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 but they're much, min much more minimal than they would ever be exposed to the air. Or in a normal greenhouse, really, because most of the time they don't have filtered airflow, they just have airflow. Now, a depot also allows for breeding to take place and for those of you who breed to, for what used to be, a once a year experiment you're like oh hey that stuff was really good last year I'm gonna grow some more of that and this other stuff that I that was really good the year before and I think they'd do really good together and you take that good-looking girl and that good-looking boy and you put them together and hope for the best well that's all well and good and that's generally what happens but outdoor you can only do that one time a year one time and that's because you don't get to see the female put her flowers on until the year's almost over. When you do a depot, I can get up first thing in spring, March, boom, going. Okay, that one was good, that one was good. Let's make some babies. Boom, 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 boom. We make some babies. By the time that crop is done and those seeds are mature, it's only been three months. I'm still smack dab in the middle of summer. Plant those babies. Let those babies go. And now, in the same year that I made those seeds, I can plant them and see what fruition I get from my efforts, what product I got from that combination, and decide before the year's over whether or not that was a good idea. Hey, I need a little bit more of this. Do it again in the same 12 months. It takes the cycle that you would otherwise run and turns it into an indoor situation. Now I'm in control. 
The difference is I have none of the costs associated with your run-of-the-mill indoor because I'm using the giant orange ball in the sky. So just a little bit of information, something else to think about. And like I said, from my point of view, it's the best of both worlds because you have that control, you have that enclosure, you're in control of the light cycle, so you can do more cycles in a year. And depending on how big you build your greenhouse, how much room you have, you've got all the space of outdoor, you have none of the cost associated because you're using the sun, so you don't have to worry about that extra associated cost. You're literally just encompassing an outdoor to give you more control. All right, guys, until next time, this is the Grower's Corner.